Hello, this is Russell from Tools of Evil. And you're listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight Podcast. Yes, welcome back, loony listeners. You are listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. This is episode 210, and you are stuck again in the same room with your high priest, Akonshu Ray. How are you going? And uh, and tonight we have something very special. The moon has turned into a waning gibbous once again, and as decreed by Konshu, this will be a moonwalk segment, meaning... It will be an audio recreation of a Moon Knight comic. So, um, yeah, this should be fun. I've got a couple of voices in this one. Uh, Very fun to do. Uh, A bit more on that in a moment. But, of course, first off, a huge thank you to our Patroonies. All of you great, great loonies turned Patroonies who uh, are supporting the show through Patreon. It's, It's a very... Um, very kind of you, very generous, and as always, very uh, grateful for all your support. So a big thank you to the likes of Daniel, Justin, Derek, Wayne, Jordan, Josh, James, Russell, and Anthony. A huge thank you. And uh, a couple of them you, you may be hearing very soon, indeed. Also, a big shout-out to Fringe Night by Daniel Doing, one of our Patronis, an original indie comic based on Erie, Pennsylvania's very own mysterious superhero. It's up to issue four. It's really good. Go check out his Patreon page. Go check out the Facebook page. Uh, it's all good. Links in the show notes. Uh, also, Hello Headphones, empowering gamers to play at their best. And, of course, Dreamland Comics, the superhero superstore. So, loonies, here we are. It's a moonwalk. It's a waning gibbous. And uh, for tonight, we will be recreating, as you've probably read, on the show notes on the podcast episode i don't know what you call it the podcast page the episode page episode page summary uh we'll be looking at moon knight issue 18 from the benson run which i believe is about volume five um and this came through uh, upon a request from none other than russell or shall i say jack russell give me a keg of beer. Moran, um, host of Tomes of Evil, a super villain podcast, also a gracious Petrini in his own right as well. Uh, so Russell has chosen issue 18, which was written by Mike Benson, with a plot by Mike Benson and Charlie Houston. Uh, artist Mark Tixera, uh, layouts Javier Solteras, and colorist Dan Brown. And and joining Russell with the vocal talents um, is another Petruni as well. You've probably heard him over the last couple of weeks. It is Justin the Owl Osgood. So there you go. I've got my post edit workout <laughs> happening already with those uh, with those nickname drops. But yeah, it's so fun to have Justin on board as well. And I'm there to uh, you know to make up the balance of of the vocal. Uh, actors in this issue so um to point out as well just to look out for i'm sure you'll recognize although russell is a bit of a chameleon when it comes to his voice uh, russell will be uh, voicing the likes of black specter his favorite villain uh, bertrand crawley another another kind of fan favorite character in the moon knight kind of corner and uh and finally he'll be a uh, voicing as well None other than the deity, Konshu. So very exciting stuff there. I'm sure Russell, you'll hear, will have uh, very cool takes on them. Justin himself will be on the the good side, on the noble side, and he will be voicing Mark Spector, the protagonist of this titular series, as well as uh, as Tony Stark, who makes an appearance as well. I'll be filling in the gaps, so... Uh, yeah, between the three of us, we will have this issue, issue 18. Uh, let me see, is it called anything? Um, I'm reading off the trade, so uh, I can't really see 
if there's a, a subtitle to it. I, it's still, I guess it's part of God in Country, um, that that run. So uh, sit back, relax, loony listeners, and enjoy this rendition of issue 18. You've broken every point of procedure, and that's the least of it. With your history of extreme behavior, we're forced to investigate the possibility that you might have actually murdered those men. Now, knowing the seriousness of the situation, I would urge you to choose your words carefully. Knowing my history of extreme behavior, I would suggest you don't want to come at me like this with your helmet off, Stark. Sir, would you like... Ah! Spectre! Hope he doesn't pitch for the Shield League. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm being fucking framed is what's wrong with me. Find Carson Knowles. Look at his file. He's the killer. The first guy killed the parole officer. Check it out. You're gonna find Knowles on his case list. Fuck's sake, you think I'm so fucked up I'd kill those men? You just threatened the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. and snapped the wrist of one of his agents. What am I meant to think? Then lay it out. Where do we stand? This whole thing is a big black stain. But truth is, even if you didn't kill those men, something else is troubling me. It's the million dollar question. How do you manage to get the card? How the hell do you get registered with your dossier? I sent a couple agents over to see Deptford. You remember Dr. Deptford, the man who administered your test? Guess what we found? He was dead. Hung himself in his office. Any ideas why he might have done that? What indiscretion he was afraid he might have uncovered? Couldn't say. All I did was talk to the man. Play this how you like, Spectre. As of now, you're under investigation. Your registration card has been suspended. This facility will be deadbolted and is off limits until further notice, and you will suspend all vigilante activities. Any violation will result in a warrant for your arrest. I will take you out on a reflex. Take his mask. If he resists, shoot him. You and I got some unfinished business. Enough. Enough. Well, that's your call. Me, I could keep at this all night. Okay. Whatever you want. Just stop. Please, stop. Holy shit. You lifted everything but the damn helicarrier. What is it? An analogical weapon. Like germs? Different. Releases nanites into the air like a mist. After it's inhaled, the nanites enter the bloodstream, attaching themselves to the cerebral cortex. Start building a receiver net, rewiring. Once the nanites have been released, you inject yourself with a different set of nanites. Infect myself? Inject. The second stage nanites act like transmitters, broadcasting to the nanite networks infecting the targets. Broadcasting what? Your commands. Stark developed it for interrogation when he was still going weapons development. Only it worked better than expected. Turned out to have massive battlefield applications. Take your average soldier, remove all fear, all inhibitions, 
Make them capable of anything. Make them feel nothing. All at your command. Show me how. Look at you. All alone, unwanted, despised. Look what you've become again and again. And I didn't even have anything to do with it this time. And why are you listening to that man? Leave me alone. It's not like he's Thor. Thor is a god. He's Iron Man. He's a fucking cripple. With that suit, he's nothing more than an organ donor. Or maybe I shouldn't use the word cripple. Maybe that stirs up too many nasty memories. Leave me alone. Instead of basking in the glory of wholesome slaughter, you choose to wallow in self-pity. Nothing would please me more than to leave you alone. But for better or worse, I've invested in you, and I can't just pull that investment out and put it somewhere more profitable, not without paying a steep price, no matter how much I want may want to. Fuck's sake, there is opportunity here, don't you see it? Finally, you have everything you need for perfect, bloody vengeance. Have you forgotten everything? Who you are? What you have done? Might I remind you, you are a killer. You've murdered everything. Men, women, children, little puppy dogs, and you balk at this. I am your god. And you're worried about breaking some fucking law. I can't. I won't. Uh, Enough whining. Honor me with a proper sacrifice, or I will find another. No matter the cost of myself. I can't be just that. I can't. I have to be... I can't be just a killer. I... I want to be more. I can be more. I can be more than a killer. I can be a hero. Give me the chance. I got something for you, hero. I've waited for such a long time and wondered when it finally happened, when you and I would come face to face, how it would hold up. And you know something? It's true. Good things come to those who wait. I waited. I waited in jail. I waited in disgrace. I waited alone and empty with nothing. I waited like that because you took it all from me. I wasn't just a knight. I was a prince. A prince in waiting. My livelihood. Respect. My girl. You took it all. You took my city from me. So tell me, how's payback feel so far? What's it like knowing everyone despises you? Knowing your friends think you're a liar and a criminal? Knowing they no longer trust you? What's it like being utterly alone, invisible? No, wait. Don't tell me. 
It feels like being me, but not for long. Everything you took, I'm going to get back. I'm going to reach out and grab it in front of everyone, and it'll be the one place you can never come to stop me. It's me. I need you to come here now. Don't fucking start. Just come now. Bring it now. Good heavens! Jake, my god! Crawley. Don't call me. Who on earth? No, no, stay put. You are in dire need of medical attention. I'll be fine. Perhaps a physician would be better suited to ascertain such a prognosis. The pills, Crawley, where are they? You're bleeding profusely. Come, my friend. Just give me the goddamn pills. Respectfully, I must deny your request. That is in regards to my own self-respect as much as it is yours. Don't get on your high horse, old man. I've seen you face down in your own puke. Yes, so you have. A delightful sight, was it not? I know what it is to be a worm, Jake. I know what it is to be spiritually bankrupt. And that is why I cannot do your bidding. If you will not fight your own despair and weakness, then pray force, I must. Are you fucking blind? You think I'm fighting what? Despair and weakness? I'm not fighting anything. I'm not fighting anything at all. I'm running around getting the shit kicked out of me is what I'm doing. I'm running in circles, chasing myself. I'm... Crawley. I'm hearing. Seeing. I don't know. I don't know what's real. Jake, look at me. Jake... Allow me a moment of your fullest attention while I discourse. I shall share with you a small serving of reality. You, sir, are the only reason I'm still here. You are the only reason I'm not laying dead in some gutter. The reason I can look at myself in the mirror when such a luxury is present in my current circumstance. By allowing me to partake in your crusade of righteous vengeance, you resurrected what shreds of humanity that remain to me. You gave me reason to drape those rags about my shameful soul. By allowing me to partake in your crusade of righteous vengeance, the reason I can look at myself in the mirror. You, the moon's night, gave me confidence to walk by light of day, and now, Jake, it is time for me to give proper recompense for those gifts. You don't know what the fuck you're... <laughs> Crawley. Get up, Jake. Get on your feet. Damn you and your pathetic sniveling. Do you know who you are? Do you know what you are? Crawley, you bastard. I'll kill you, old man. You, you fucking son of a bitch. You are my hero, damn you. Without you, what am I? What value am I? I will not be lost again. I will not bury myself. And I will not watch you sink into your fetid morass. Fight, damn your hide. Fight something. Stand and fight. In the king's court... Only the jester may speak his mind. Only a clown holds the mirror to royalty's face, reminds him of his foibles. Only the lowest shines a light in the hidden corners of the highest, dark and hidden places. And so only he, the motley fool, 
sees the moments when the facade of greatness cracks and mortal fears pour through. Only the prattling buffoon glimpses the wounds of the light before his armor is restored, before the battle is rejoined. How did you know what was happening to me? How did you know who I am? <laughs> the shadow knows. <laughs> Hello, Tomes of Evil listeners. Allow us to introduce our first Patreon-exclusive show, The Weeds of Crime, The Shadow in Comics. I am Russell, and with my host, Justin the Owl Osgood, we will take you on a journey through the shadow's life in comics. So that just begs the question, who knows, who knows, who knows? Yes, welcome back, Looney listeners. You are listening to Into the Night, episode 210, and that you just heard was a moonwalk. It was a recreation of Moon Knight, volume 5, issue 18, featuring the Black Spectre and his brutalization on Mark Spectre. Um, Again, a huge thank you to the vocal talents of Jack Russell. Give me... A keg of beer. Moran and Justin the Owl. <laughs> Osgood, thank you so much, guys. It was so much fun um, putting it together. Uh, had very little to do, actually, in in, um, in filling the gaps. Um, so it was great to see you guys uh, take front and centre uh, and really recreate the, the, uh, the comic. It was, it was so much fun. Um, anyway, loonies, that about wraps it up for this episode. This is the only episode, as you'll notice, it's a bit later in the week, just due to a bit more editing needed um, to create and produce this episode. But um, next week will be... Uh, actually, next week will be another solo episode. It's uh, another big one. And returning again is Justin the Owl. <laughs> Osgood, it's a new moon, so I'm very excited for this. I have got Justin on board a while ago. It is another Isla Ra Sessions. Yes, so so loonies, uh, learn a bit more about your fellow ITK member, your fellow Moon Knight fan, uh, and back in, well, not back in, the hot, not back in the hot seat, I was about to say, uh, invited to Grant Mansion, for the first time, to chat about himself and how he got into comics and how he got into Moon Knight, but also his top four Desert Island books, or Isla Rail books, is Justin. So can't wait to have that conversation. Should be good indeed. Uh, Go check it out. As always as well, similar to what was mentioned at the top of the show, uh, please consider becoming a Patreon member like Justin and Russell. Uh, uh, That's on patreon.com slash itkmoonnight.com. 
uh, and there are plenty of bonus incentives there. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated, and you know, even listening to the show is is really good. So thank you so much, uh, everyone. But yeah, if you want to take it that step further, uh, please check out our Patreon page. Uh, as mentioned, Hello Headphones. If you use the, the code ITK Moon Knight, you'll get ten percent off their online store. And our other sponsor, Dreamland Comics, if you use the code MOON, you'll get a a 20% off their online store as well. Uh, We're also affiliated with Entertainment Earth, so all your action figure needs or all your statue needs, uh, just click the link in our show notes uh, to purchase anything there. And again, that will help and support the show too. Uh, Finally, we are part of the collective, so... uh, a great array of podcasts here. I mean, it, it's growing as well. I uh, can't wait to uh, announce a, a couple of other new shows as part of the collective. We all just try and help each other out. We cross-promote. We, we share each other's uh, episode releases and announcements. It's all good. Uh, but go check them. So uh, the likes of um, We Are Venom Maniacs, a Venom podcast, or if you'd like... Uh, Signal of Doom, which is a, a kind of a news, uh, up-to-date kind of breaking news stuff for, for all pop culture and comics. Uh, great work done there by Dave and Rich. And finally, uh, EMP, Earth's Mightiest Podcast. So these guys do great work over there, Viet and uh, uh, and the others, uh, Corn, uh, doing stuff on the Avengers, uh, Mutants, Deadpool... Uh, sorry, X-Men, Deadpool, stuff like that. So check them all out. Uh, again, there's a whole directory in the show notes there for you to peruse. Anyway, loony listeners, oh, sorry, and finally, if you want to contact us, look, it's all in the show notes, email us at itkmoonnight at gmail.com. Also, we're on uh, Facebook with a page and group. We're on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Discord, Get Vocal. Uh, we've got a website, and we're on Podchaser. And incidentally, on Apple Podcasts, and Podchaser, if you can leave us a review, please do. It really does help us get out there a bit more and uh, maybe find some other loonies or some other Moon Knight fans who might be interested in the podcast as well. So very much appreciated if you do. That's about it, loonies. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it again. Uh, stay tuned next week for another bumper-filled uh, episode I have no idea where Justin and I are going to go on locale when we review his uh, his books, but at least we'll get a drink from Samuels, I know that. Um, until then, may Conchie watch over the denizens of the night. Catch you later. Moon Knight and affiliated characters, stories and events are properties of Marvel Characters Incorporated. Materials used and discussed within the podcast are intended for critique and review purposes only under the fair dealing concept of the current Copyright Act. The views, information or opinions expressed during the podcast are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent those of the copyright owners.